Welcome back to the LNC Painter YouTube channel. In today's video, we're working on this Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG. This thing is super mean, super clean, and it's got a factory matte paint job. What we're doing to it is we're gonna have to spot paint the door. And my question to you guys is, is it possible to spot paint a matte paint job? Since you can't polish it, or mess with it after you finish. To our advantage, we do have these very sharp lines that we can use to do the break. The door had a big dent on the bottom of it and uh, we repaired it, primered it, and I prepped it up to this line right here and that's why we're gonna do our break for brace coat and clear coat. Customer is super cool, he's gonna be selling this truck and he said just make it look like nothing ever happened. And I'm gonna do just that. It definitely beats painting the whole door because then you're gonna run into a lot of issues. Just matching the satin and these cars are, I'm not gonna say the easiest to work on or paint just because they have so many little features that stand out and just imagine masking this in between here and just a headache. So best thing to do is just to focus on the damaged area, blend it on the line and send it on its way. I'm gonna mask it up real quick and then we'll start spraying. I'll show you guys how I go about mixing the paint, mixing the clear coat, what makes it go matte, and then I'll show you guys the final results once we finish. Let's go. Right, our G box is masked up, ready to go. Let's go mix up our paint. Now the color code is 056. It's their design of color, 056. Design of Magno Night Shores. And right here it says use undercoat G7 for best results and use FC03 low gloss clear coat to match the factory matte paint. And then we'll get to that later. For now we're just gonna mix our base coat. Here's our toners. We'll do about five ounces. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do our clear base coat blender just to smooth everything out and even everything out and then we'll swap it out for the base coat paint. 
we'll do our two coats get the primer area covered we put black primer so everything's gonna get covered up really quickly and that's good for us because we don't want to put too much paint anywhere on the store keep it minimal so for a clear coat if you remember when you go on the base coat 056 Mercedes it says use FC 03 low gloss clear coat so now that we're ready to do our clear coat I'm going to be using EC 800 here it is EC 800 FC 03 now it gives me my formula how to mix it first we're gonna put the clear coat put this strainer I'm gonna put the clear coat and now it's asking for SLV 4985 and that's a universal flatten agent also made by PPG and um, this is what's going to give it that flat finish after it dries shake it up a little bit Stir it up, shake it up, make sure it's thoroughly mixed, and pour it up, 71.9. Hit continue, in the hardener, 80.75. And a little bit of reducer so this is the stuff that makes the paint the clear coat go matte and depending on how much of this you put it could be super matte or it could be semi gloss so the computer does the adjustments for us it ranges from FC 03 no, it ranges from FC01 up to FC04, which is FC04 is semi gloss, FC01 is super matte. This is more of like a satin almost finish because it still has a little sheen to it. So we're just doing bottom half of the door. We don't need too much clear. We do have to put it on very thick that's just the way it needs to be applied so it's all uniform use my W400 Iwata 1.3 Wish me luck.
The first coat has to go completely matte before doing your second final coat. So we're gonna wait for it to flash off and then we'll go back inside and do our second coat. Get some breakfast going while we wait. Cover looks good. Repaired the rear bumper. New diffuser looks good. Spoiler. New spoiler installed. Very nice. Now we wait and see what happens. Hopefully it looks decent and we can send the car home. It'll be a good Friday. Happy Friday, y'all. Uh, clean my spray gun and we'll wait about 30, 40 minutes before we pull the car out. I put fast clear so it dries super quick and uh, we'll be able to get the car out within an hour. All right, our G-Class door is painted, it's dry, and it's ready to be pulled out of the spray booth. Let's take a quick look, see what it looks like. Check it out. Came out pretty sweet, pretty clean. And this line is completely not visible. In my opinion, I think the satin or matte paint jobs blend out a lot better when we have a sharp line to work with. So I'm gonna unmask it, get it outside, let it dry completely. It's almost fully dry to the touch, but I can carefully unmask it and pull it out into the sun. Not bad, not bad at all. Like nothing ever happened.
while super happy with how it turned out nobody will ever know we had any paint work done on the bottom of the door especially since the top is all original and we didn't mess with it so we're gonna put the flare back on we're gonna re-wrap them in stealth wrap um, the wrap actually saved the flares from being painted because it provided a good amount of protection there's a little nick here but that's the stealth bra so these things work they save sometimes having to repaint the whole flare and same with the front one we took it off because we thought for sure it was damaged but we cleaned it up and uh, the wrap is very very uh, durable and unless you really get hit hard it'll save your paint job <laughs> 